biggest lie you ever told mom or dad. They were digging. Oh, I told my mom I didn't send it. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> At least we're honest around here. Welcome back to Twin Talk, you guys. As you can tell, we have a s- two special guests. We're missing one of the sisters, so there's only four of us right now. But she's in Florida. She is. She's back in Florida. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? <laughs> they're camera shy. They're very camera shy, but they're not shy. So that's why we got some uh, uh, liquid courage right here. Uh, and just to say, we are all over twenty-one. <laughs> Go, Brandy. You're older. Okay, I'm Brandy. I'm twenty-four years old. Um, she's a I'm an bride to be. Tech, and my job is very hard. Um, she's a hardworking girl. Very hardworking, <laughs> like a washing machine. And. Um, <laughs> That's really it. I get married next week. <laughs> yeah, she's getting <laughs> married. Hey guys, if you have a conversation in the house besides Brittany's wedding, like you are frowned upon. <laughs> it's all about her next week, everyone. So that when this drops, she will be married. Isn't that That's crazy? crazy. That's really weird. She's really? I'm so excited. I'm going to cry. What Natalie, do you think? Go ahead. Okay. Um, my name's Natalie. I'm 21. I go to ASU. I'm a senior. Are you in a sorority? Are you? I haven't dropped, but I, I'm not in it. Why don't you like it? Well, Haley, I'm still in it. Okay, but now if you drop? Well, if I drop, then I can say it, but I can't say it because I haven't dropped. It's just not my thing. Okay. It's just not. I like to go out and have fun, and you can't post certain stuff, and I kind of post what I want, so. Are they, like, cult-like? <laughs> Haley, I can't say that. Okay, it's fun. I can. I'm not in one anymore. We're, we're, we're can talk, but anyway, um, we were, we my occupation dropped. is a nanny, and I am getting my real estate license Her. during this. Yeah. Okay, that's it. That is such, that's really good. So we're back in Arizona. We decided to stay here. We're going to be sharing a lot of clothes from Natalie's closet. So that was definitely an argument yesterday. Back to better today. <laughs> I left home to my apartment. Um, but yeah, so just bad. been hanging out in Arizona with the fam. <laughs> um, as, as I said, we're missing one of our sisters um, for certain situations. She's back in Florida until Saturday. But we're going to start off with segment one with a little bit of a Q&A, truth or drink, if the girls don't want to answer. And then we're going to be bringing in for segment two, two special guests, one soon-to-be brother-in-law and his best man to give you guys the rundown of the Cavendish fam. So let's get into it. We have some questions into the questions. So we all got our drink of choice. Actually, what's your drink of choice? Yeah, what's the fluffer drink? Uh, Mine's a happy dad in a wine glass. I love the the aesthetic. (laughs) (laughs) No. (laughs) <laughs> okay brandy it's a um, mine yeah. would be a tequila pineapple but s- s- pickings are slim here so i have a glass brandy, of champagne you know what i opened that bottle from your um when you guess asked us to be your bridesmaids are you kidding that no, was I don't, mine. it was so flat that i was like i hope she doesn't notice and had a little bit of juice yeah, as you so can tell there's no bubble in this thing it just looks like backwash it's a little bit flat but that's all right the vibes are still high all right Haley. okay and these are both just going to be generic for Brandy and Natalie. If they don't want to answer, they can drink. If they want to answer, you guys know the game. I'm going to drink either way. She's going to drink either way. Oh, no. We know that. So we know, <laughs> we know Natalie. <laughs> Recently 21, bro. She out drinks every single one. So anyways, first question. Mm-hmm. Get your alcohol ready. <laughs> who is, is you can't say, who is your favorite sister at the moment? Brandy. Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then drink to the second favorite. Haley. Wow. I'm sorry, we're close. I'll go Hannah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We're all we all we all are very, very close. All of our sisters are very close. It's I there's a lot a going on. I would just say now. Brandy's my favorite because we both live in Arizona and we get each other's vibes. Brandy needs to drink more. That's what I think. Brandy in Nashville was on a different level, and that's the level I need Brandy to be on. So I cannot wait for Saturday. Okay, next question. Least favorite person any of us have ever dated. Wait, what was the least favorite? Who's the least favorite person you, any of us have ever dated? I'll go. Um, Haley's ex-boyfriend and I got in a <laughs> altercation in the kitchen because I was having a moment because Haley was in my shirt. So I decided to scream at her as I would do. And he started videotaping me. <laughs> so I cannot stand that man. And I told him to stick his phone up where you would think I would tell him. So that was that was that Brandy? was Brandy. Yeah. I don't think for legal reasons I can say mine at the moment, so I'll just leave it at that. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll drink right. to that I'll one. Drink to that one. Yeah, there, that's a drink. Oh, this one's good. <laughs> I remember. This is this just reminds me of something. Biggest lie you ever told mom and dad. You were the trouble child. You got your phone taken away for seven months, dude. No, dad thought I had my phone taken away for seven months. Mom got me one a month later. I know, but it's because, okay, so biggest lie you ever told mom or dad. Here we go. 
do you want me to say this? They were digging. Oh, I told my mom I didn't send it. (laughs) (laughs) That I didn't. (laughs) That's good. (laughs) At least we're honest around here. Not. I can go. Um, when I was a senior in high school, my parents left me yet again home alone to watch the twins play basketball, and I threw a New Year's Eve rager. Oh my god, that was so funny! I was trying to clean. You up got caught by the ice cap. I got a caught by one single Mike's hard cap that me and Chloe didn't swift her off. How'd you get out of it? Uh, I didn't. They caught you. Mom did. Dad still doesn't know. So if he's watching this. Dad doesn't know a lot of things. Dad does not know. I, I think Dad chooses to act <laughs> like he doesn't know a lot of things, but he's well aware. What you- um, all right, moving on. What is Who do we think is the is going to be nar- married next after Brandy? The woman was too stunned. <laughs> I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna say Haley. Really? I'm gonna say Haley because she's dating little Jake now and <laughs> she's gotta be the second closest. There's no one else in a relationship. Yeah, who so else is we running up? Like, maybe down the road, like when I'm 30 or something. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Like, you're the only next contender because <laughs> that's no true. I put myself in this race, baby. No, no one else I'm is locked in. A relationship that's what's crazy. Four months ago, we would have literally said someone else and now we're here and it's only two people left. <laughs> Jake's. Get yourself a Jake. You'll meet him soon. Okay, you guys, that wraps up the sister segment. We have two other guests coming in. Very exciting. We have our brother-in-law, Jake, and his best man, Chase Thomas. So give it up for them, baby, because they're going to bring the life of the party. Come on, y'all, bring the cigars. Don't be shy. We wanted you guys to truly understand us from a different perspective, not only our sisters, and no better person to do that than, one, Jake Perkins. He's been in the family for six years. Y'all have been, yep, six years. Seven. Seven. More. Up means more. Oh, six and a half ish. And yeah, he understands us very, very well. He's the first guy entering the Cabinet Girls family. And, you know, Chase is his best man. So he's going to, you know, answer some questions as well. And they said they're going to fire back some questions at Haley and I, too. So it's going to be a little entertaining over here. My happy dad's getting it. We're going to share mics and everything. But to start us off, I'm going to ask Jake a very tough question because I told him that's what I was going to be doing. Bring it on. All right. Jake, first question. <laughs> what is one thing you don't like about the Kavner family? Um, when you guys get going all together in the house, you're like a bunch of pit bulls. Okay. It's hard to settle you down. Really? Yeah, that's why I kind of just, you know, walk away and let you guys, du- let you guys duke it out. Fake a phone call, you know? Jake, um... Who is the biggest pit bull in the family? No, I can hold. Oh shit, that's hard. I mean, I'll... KDC. No, I think the biggest. Bro. Are we talking about in current times or like overall times? Overall, overall. Brooke. Okay. Yeah, Brooke. Hundred percent. Brooke is definitely like feisty, and she'll let yeah. you know. Like if you're walking in with your eyebrows not done or something, she'll be like, "You need to get those done." I'm like. Or if your house or your <laughs> surroundings aren't up to par, you're gonna be the first. She's gonna be the first person to tell you. My question next to you is obviously you've been around for seven years and you've seen a lot of males enter the lives and exit. So what is your take on that? And if you had a friendship with them and they did us dirty, like how do you balance that? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say like I have a bad take on it anyways because like the males that did enter, it's not like they just entered and left. They were there for a decent amount of time. I grew a relationship with them, but... You know, I'm not going to start throwing out names, but there were a couple that I wasn't a fan of. And I'm going to say one guy just happened to be around your um, bachelor party or not. Sorry, not your bachelor party, but your uh, graduation party. Oh, okay. And and he got his car pissed on. I won't, I won't ever forget that. That would uh, be, yeah. Oh, I forgot um, about him. And uh, he, he, he's just cap. Like he's just, he's just one of those people that you're just like. Why are you like you don't have to you don't have to act like that to 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 hang around people You're exactly like, well, everybody here is people you know we're yeah. all the same. So how many of our exes have um reached out to you after we've broken up and how long does it usually take for them to call you? Every single one, <laughs> and uh, that's so funny to me. Probably some people. Oh yeah, As some people it's the next day. Some people it's like. They need a month to realize, you know, maybe like I fucked up. Oh, let me reach out to Jake. Okay, so do you think it's like I'm gonna try to get tea out of Jake? And it's what's like, the tea? Like, yeah, or do you think it's like they want you to tell them that you've talked to us? Yeah, and and 
I don't know if it, like, I don't, they want Jake to be like, oh, bring it up to us. Be like, oh, I just talked to. I think they want to know what's Natalie's ex. Oh, you know what? Let's enter it. Actually, Natalie's better now. Chase, what is your opinion on cheating? And would you ever get back with somebody who cheated on you? No, like that's just like I'm a pretty like average guy, but like still for me, it's just like once you do that, you're done. Like you're you're out. You ruined. You're gone. Like you've ruined it. You you ruined everything about yourself. And not only that, like me and Jake, like you can do this to me. Pretty much me, Jake, and Brandy. Like (laughs) every weekend we're out of town. Every weekend we're doing something. Like there's chances are like within the first like few weeks I'm gonna be out of town and she's gonna be at home. Yeah, we cheat once and then I'm out of town. Like. Am I supposed to just trust you? Like, I'm going to be out of town with them and just be having a horrible time worried about, like, what's going on at home. Brandy, what's your like, opinion no on way. it? On cheating on someone or getting back together with someone cheating on you? Uh, both. If I found Same out shit. someone Different cheated on me, I'd probably go to jail for murder. Um, <laughs> secondly, I would never Bring get back on. together. That's <laughs> 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 real. <laughs> that I would also never get back to someone cheating on me because, like you said, like, the trust is ruined. Everything's ruined. Your relationship's never going to be the same. Number one, if someone fucks someone, I can never fuck them. Period. <laughs> Natalie, since not to bring this up, I know it, Fergie. It it. It's, it's, Natalie, it's, 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 Natalie did get back with somebody who cheated on her, so I want her take on it. And for all those girls that are going out, <laughs> Natalie did. Natalie's getting just gross. And Natalie, I just know. <laughs> 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 I, I will. I will. I. <clears throat> I was respectfully eighteen, so I was very young, so I didn't really tell them what you did. Okay, I will. I'll tell the whole story. Um, I was cheated on a few times, and then I went back, and that was. It's the stupidest thing you can do because once a cheater, always a cheater. I learned my lesson. But for me personally, I have like a very opinionated family. So they would all put their opinions in. And it kind of would go through one ear and out the other because, you know, like in I was like going to do what I wanted. But um, it comes to a point where you start to hate the person because like you just can't get over it. You'll never will get over it. I promise. My thing is, is why do they always send the parents like Brooke's ex? She he literally sent mom and dad like a or yeah, Bunk Brooks, ass flowers. Brooks two exes like sent mom and dad like a gift card to like go to like Dominic's. Like, dude, if you don't gotta send a Dominic, just treat the girl right. <laughs> just treat the girl right. And you can't get mad. And Natalie does this thing too, where she did. She got mad at me because well, I was like, sent a what? I'm gonna hit up this person right now, her ex, because at the this point you're not gonna embarrass my sister and disrespectful and make her think she's anything less than what you are based on your opinions because you are immature and you can't just trade. You literally will DM a girl at night or whoever or sleep with someone and then try to make my sisters feel like less than they are. And I will sit there and tell them that they are and oh. let you know. I will let you know. We do not welcome you back in this. Also, yeah, like it's not like a hall pass. You don't get to just like, oh, go to the bathroom, you know, wipe your ass, go do whatever you want, cheat on somebody, and then come back in the fam like it's a family function, like you're invited. That is and, not the case. And- Okay, guys, I'm going to ask Jake last question. Who is your favorite ex? Mm. Wait, of his past? No, Brittany. Damn. It's a good idea. Hey, hey, it's a I'd good idea my to play the fifth right now. Was Such probably, a good idea, was, was dude. Probably, uh, you know, actually was Brandy. Yeah, because no, in a like week. Ours, yeah. Our boyfriends. Oh. You don't have to. You don't have to edit that part. I mean, no, your favorite ex, like, like meaning shit. out of like the, the girlfriend's boyfriend. You two. Or Everybody. Everybody. Who's your favorite ex? You're like, damn, I wish they were still dating because that's a homie. <laughs> Brittany, damn. So, I, I know he what sh- he wants that, to say, but that like, your shit more I than know, someone that works at Filiberto's. No, I know what you want. So, let's I, just I, get that straight right now. I know what you want to say, but we just... You I, can't say it. Dude, say it. It's, no, it'd be, can no. it be like... You know what? I'd say my say truthful favorite ex would, would be... Oh, wow. Well. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Lower the mic. You wanted the pure honesty. Here it is. Hey, secrets tear friends apart. Oh, this is my last question for the boys and for Chase, um, the man, the best man. If you had to choose out of the sisters, who would be walking down the aisle with you, obviously, for Brandy's maid of honor, who would you pick? So if it wasn't Brock. So if it wasn't Brooke. It wasn't Brooke? But if it was, you can still just, say Brooke. Out of just sisters, just sisters or out of but you, No, out of just the sisters, but it could be Brooke too, even if like she is doing it. You know what I mean? Out of all the sisters, who would you want to walk down the aisle with? To be honest, I'd take Brooke or Natalie, honestly. <laughs> no, because no, that sounds so bad. No, because Natalie's just Fuck. like the most like normal, like I'm just down it. with the flow. And then 
Brooke is just funny because it's Brooke. Like Brooke's just gonna, she's just gonna go with the flow. No, Brooke's gonna do some paparazzi shit. Yeah, no, give you guys the yeah, attention. I'm up with you two. Like she's I, walking I, I, down I, I a fucking do, like, red carpet. Talks on the way down. I gotta like sit yeah. down, do another like. That's crazy. With, I'm gonna take the two most just <laughs> chilling down for the like just down for. I love it, the so. simplicity, simplicity lifestyle that you don't think Haley and I have. <laughs> Sorry, but I've had to do like three TikToks and I've been here. So it's like, I'm taking just okay, okay, okay. sitting down, okay. chilling. All right. What other questions do you have? Because that was weak. That was it. I, I, I feel expecting, like these, I, was I, I got like some weak, yeah. that. I got some so weak ass good. questions. So can we attack, can we, can we get down on each other now or? Go ahead, Jake. You got me. You got anybody. The floor is yours. Jake's taking over the podcast. It's Jake's ask me, podcast. Hey, ask me a question first. Okay. <laughs> ask me a question first. Do it. I mean. Where where can we take this? We can take this wherever we you want to go. It's your world this we're living in. This is the sister's pod. Jake and we're, just, we're just a part of it. It's twin talk, but Jake's it's taking over. Perkins. I feel like we can just let Jake just turn this into his podcast. Yeah, really we're gonna Jake's, we're gonna dig Jake's in right now. Jake, answer we're gonna dig ask in. Hey, we're digging. Hey. If you're watching, we're gonna see what we're digging. Hannah, Hannah, here's what I want to know. Me from you, yeah. It's not even. It's not more of like a truth or drink, but it's a. It's a. Just a question. It's not even, it's not even a bad question. Okay. So after you went through your recent breakup, um, what, what, what did you take as your coping mechanism? <laughs> Where did you go with it? What did you do? What do you mean? What, how did you, how did you stay mentally strong? Mentally strong? I would listen to a lot of good music. It helps Was me. it the protein shakes in the morning? Yeah, it definitely was a protein oatmeal, baby. It helped me every day. No, I'm saying I would listen to Rod Wave, Huge Rod Wave Girl. Prosecco definitely did song. not help. the go-to song? I love Long Journey, and now I'm backlit. 100% backlit is only being played in HD4. But coping mechanisms, I try to have fun. I'm not a girl that's going to sit at home and be sad. That's not something that I deal with. If I'm in a room for too long and, like, not outside, I just doesn't work with the mentals well. So, yeah, definitely outside with my girls. Having fun. I'm still living by that. So, okay, Natalie, you're up. So, when your most recent relationship, big mistake, probably the biggest mistake the guy will ever make in his life, because you are a great Facts. person. Thanks, um, Jake. Your coping mechanism was to go back and black out, retrace oh. his steps with your ex. Where, where do you stand with that? <laughs> He's so good. Better. So if where you do you person, stand with better, this? Jake. Okay. What, what, what are your thoughts? Are you kind of like, I could have just My shot further like, down the field? Or are your shots like, your thoughts like, I should have stayed where I was oh, hell two no. times ago? My thing is, like, if I'm going to get out of a relationship and I'm going to be the one to, like, break up with someone, like, I kind of need to know there's, like, someone else there, you know? I think your thoughts were to come back twice as hard. So I was, like, going to, but I don't know. Okay. That's how I have to say. Chase is a question. Chase is a question. Hold on. I have Haley's a question next. real quick. Haley's no, next. You guys as like social media, like big people, like what does that change about dating? Like when you guys like, because obviously you guys are like to a next level of like guys you can date, obviously because of like just the following you guys have is like awesome. But like, <laughs> what does that change? Like what does that change? Like when you guys are actually dating? Like, is there ever like a question of like, we're just, we got what we have like I, what is what is like what is, what changes when you guys are dating like at your guys's level um i would say <laughs> <So funny. laughs> honestly like i've always been an athlete my whole life so like i'm attracted to people that like have the same mindset and put in the same work as an athlete but i would say going on dates and stuff it's more of just like if you have a following and stuff you're always gonna have in the back of your mind like is this person like truly like me for me or like you know just to say like oh i'm here like that's just like this the case it is but i would just Taking time, yeah. wow, Jake. Taking so how do, time. How do you like? Fi how do you figure that out though? Like, I feel like okay, you know? so I'm like vibing. Like time. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're on a date. Like, if they're like, you can tell if someone's faking it. You know what I mean? Like, even with friends, if if y'all are all like hanging out and like someone's being weird and like a little bit uptight and like doing too much, then it's like, hey, clearly this person's not genuine. Like, you can read that shit. Anyone can read that shit real quick. So it's like, if I'm on a date and you're dating a couple people, like I've I've, I've dated quite a few around, and it's like you can really see like who's genuine and who's not. You, I have no option. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you were single for like I have years. something to say, Damn. too. Damn! <laughs> if Which actually tees off my next question. Wait, no, I want to... Hey, Jake, I want to no, no, hear I, I have something to say. Jake, Chase, because great question. Because I am, like, single and kind of the twins' age and they're in the media when boys... Not that I'm, like, 
talk to the same type of dudes the twins do because I'm not on their level. But when boys, you're on, you're past their level. Anyway, <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Like, you, okay, whatever. But when boys ask me if I'm the Cavender twin sister, I have act like I have no idea who they are. That's I'm sure. like, who? Yeah, yeah. That's who? really good shit. See, so, yeah, I almost have to do that. Yeah, I'm like, no. and then I walk away. <laughs> Brandy's like out of the conversation. She's like not intrigued at all. She's over here. I want to hear Jake. Pod. Jake, go ahead. All right, Jake, please give us your question. Honestly, I think I might have forgot what it was. That's okay, was Jake. It was for you, wasn't it? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, you thought you just popped out easily, didn't you? Cost me one. Let me just think for a second here. What okay. is? Who is the most toxic sister? Like, who's the biggest player oh. in the family? Who's the biggest player in the family? The one that just had the mic. Haley is definitely the biggest flirt. And that was was me. was Haley let's was okay. That. Sorry, was. Haley was. Yeah. Let's correct. I'm that. sorry. I'm gonna say how it is. Haley there was definitely. Haley was a player until she met the person that she wanted to be with. She was only. She I was wouldn't even say really years. that far. Yeah. No, how about you just edit all that? I would just say more along the lines yeah. of like. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say you were a player. Not a player, but like, she like means, loved. I would to just say you were just trying to figure out maybe what the best route for you was. How about that? And maybe it's a took single a couple, girl with like 400,000 like, fingers on the hand. There's options was, everywhere. Like, you're going to. And Chase, question, honest question. Were you not intimidated? Well, I guess you wouldn't. Were you not intimidated? Like when you walk in, you see that someone has five sisters and you're like, oh, it's probably chill, but then it's actually like five like powerhouses. I'm going to be honest with you right now. I wasn't intimidated. I was more like, damn, this big ass family. Bunch of girls, poor Tom. Yeah. Kind of deal, you know? But I wasn't intimidated. I was, okay, the only thing I was intimidated at first, I was intimidated by your dad a little bit. You know, not, not even a little bit. Like, I was intimidated by him. But then he's like, he's a, he's, he's a nice guy. Honestly. And then, you know, now we like each other. But no, I wasn't intimidated. Like, when, because he, you know, he wasn't even here when I first came here. But I said hi to your mom, you know. My mom's hi, like, I'm my Jake, mom's an angel. But she's, you know, yeah, Absolutely. No, I wouldn't consider. I wouldn't consider. I would consider you guys intimidating, like but like you gotta have like that. Mom's not like a. You gotta have that mindset person. of it's yeah. like like mom's casino. We're all with me, Jake we're and all Chase. the same <laughs> kind of deal, you know. Yeah. The one thing I'll say though the is There's Tom, like the engagement party here. I was out there talking to somebody, and Tom walks by, and I was like, I just want to go introduce myself, but I was like, shit, like that's just like, <laughs> Dude, he to me my whole scary life. Dude, like for no reason, like I'm. He is a scary I love, looking dude. I but love he's a, meeting but parents. He's like I'm fine. Nice, he is. A no, he is a nice dude. But like literally, I was like sitting there talking. I saw Tom walk by. I'm like, I'm gonna go shake his hand. Be like, I'm Chase. You probably heard my name. Like, respect. But the thing is, like, is it's like really hard too because like now, if you go back to Michigan, like if Jake Perkins didn't come to the Michigan, everyone's like, where's Jake? Like, you know what I mean? Where's the and Jake? The so it's like I've never brought someone back. I've never brought someone back to Michigan. So so it's like really hard because it's like. Jake Perkins is loved there. Like, loved. when he didn't come, the year Brandy and him took a longer spring like, break. It was like kind of depressing. It was a little uncomfortable because everybody was asking Brandy, like, okay, now that the other people are out of the family, not my ex, but the other person not to be named, like, nobody's really asking about him. But, like, when Jake and us all went to Michigan and Jake was supposed to come, it was, like, really kind of sad. Like, for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brandy, how do you feel about that? That means he's like, I mean, at the time, yeah, it kind of sucks because everyone would ask, like, oh, what the deal was and stuff. But they obviously supported me and I was doing fine. You had a double oh. texter? It's because it's like, if you like, if, if yeah, you it was more of a, he was triple texting my phone the whole time I was there. Exactly. Was. That's how it should be. He should but be chasing you. I was fighting. I was a mile and a half ahead. I was Chase. Oh, I Chase let Chase some, tell you some Chase stories. Go ahead. Go. Okay, Chase, here we go. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm single as hell, but like when Chase Jake, 34, Thomas no, no, no. on Instagram, follow his Instagram no. right now. He's a great guy. Seriously, Chase, Chase, Chase Thomas 34, 34 Thomas. Shit, we'll plug them right now. Not no, him. this is legit. Like when Jake was single, I would, okay, this is just me being a good friend. I'm like, okay, dude, you're single now. Like, let's go have fun. Literally every night on the way home, we'd leave early because Jake wanted to go home early. And every night it was literally, dude, I just want to get back Brandy. Uh, and this this sounds really bad, but I remember being like, dude, let's just fucking have some fun. Like, let's just go out. Like, yeah, but he's just like, he's just Scottsdale. being a friend. You know what I mean? He's just, no, no, like, yeah, no, you would have seen me. No, I'm being a friend of just like, dude, let's go have some fun. Like, let's go. I don't even remember like what even happened. I just remember being like, okay, my friend's freshly single. Like, let's go, like, let's go have some fun. Like, let's go, let's go get like, just wrecked for no reason and let's like and he was just like at literally at 9 30 we were in uh i forget where we were at 9 30 at night he's like let's go home i'm like 
No, it's not like it's nine thirty, dude. Like we're staying out. Literally, and I'm like I'm ordering us an I Uber. Go home. He said, "You're coming." He literally said, "I'm ordering an Uber." You're either getting yourself one, which I just never order Uber. It's like a hop in anybody's. <laughs> Hopped in with him, and then on the way home, probably what a two hour, probably honestly a four hour. It was a whole Uber ride home. We sat on the couch at our old house we rented, and we literally just had a full on like debris four hour like thing. And I was like. Dude, if that's what you want, I literally told him, I was like, you have, you have to do what you got to do. And then literally, and I f- did it. And now Best they're getting married in nine days. Nine days, baby. Three days later, back together. Bean, how do you feel and- with what? The whole situation. Like, how did I you have to take Bean on a vacation way. for her to get back with me? I remember the hike. <laughs> you want to take her away. Dude, I remember a time out. And I wasn't even ever, like, it wasn't even that bad of a breakup. Uh-uh. This is the thing. You got to figure it out. I told Brandy. Brandy texted me till this day, so. She made me wait day. two months. It was three. three. She texted me. She's like, Hannah, no, no, no. I don't want to tell this. The first month, we didn't talk all that much. The second month, I was f***ing hitting it hard. And I'm like, okay, you, you want to play this shit with me? Let's play the game and yeah, i well, also I just, she'd be out party with her friends and i'd text her and say i love you good night oh my god i swear <laughs> to god would i or would i not me and jake hung out for a week i'd be like i love you good night i'd be safe i love you good night no way we broke up in three months and then i'd get a text back two days later that said sorry i was out with some friends that's so good. how are you and i'm in there yeah you're in there okay guys great question Brandy would not tell anyone when they were texting no she told me she She told me she texted me she's like Hannah I'm going to get breakfast with Jake don't tell anyone we were in the bang jeep and she's like I have to tell you something and I was like I fucking know (laughs) that's because he sent me flowers and we had to break them out of my house because I didn't want to see it. no Jake literally is like my older brother like taught me how to drive Um, Brandy and Jake like raised me Natalie was 15 years old going 80 miles an hour down the freeway in my F-250 as soon as I saw you like without him and stuff and like doing stuff I was like that's not Brandy like you're the most like sorry you're like the most simple girl in our family, like super chill. And like Jake is like, you guys are like two peas in a pod. So it was, I was like, what's going on here? I was trying to figure out math and like this was just not adding up. Two plus okay, two So it was like not four. math. So I was like, okay, it's good. I don't, I don't like if someone exits the life because it exit the fam because it wasn't like working and you know, just like things happen and you guys rekindle. It's like, okay, we're all coming back. We all love him. But it's like, if you do us dirty and it's like, not us, but if you do my sister dirty, obviously everyone's going to be like, ew. Like, ew. Yeah. So wrap it up. Everyone, go follow Chase. He is single. Thank you guys for coming on Twin Talk. We're back in Arizona. When this comes out, congratulate the newlyweds. They're going to be on their honeymoon with Brady Perkins. And make sure you guys download better and play better picks. And actually follow me. <laughs>